Yeah, good morning, everyone. This is Eshan Rakesh Roshan here. I work as assistant professor at RGKT Triple T Basar Telangana. Welcome you all to this session on Microsoft Forms. So, Microsoft Forms tool is a beautiful tool. You can we can have uh, you know surveys, we can have polls, and uh, from the teaching perspective, we can have assessments. Okay, so we can have auto graded assessments, or we can also do manual assessments using this so Microsoft. Uh, forms so let's get started and then as we go on let's see the functionalities of this so first thing that we need to do is let's click on forms so go to google and then say forms.microsoft.com now that would take us to so click on this it would take us to this uh, home page so now you need to sign up so you can just click on get started and then sign up let me just sign in I already have a micro. So you need to have a Microsoft account, okay, to use Microsoft Forms. You know, similar to having a Google account is uh, compulsory for uh, to use Google Forms. So like that, we need to have Microsoft account. If you do not have nothing to worry, just click on Create One. You can use your normal, uh, you know, email ID, either Gmail or Yahoo, or you can create a new Outlook or Hotmail email email ID here. So I have I have uh, a Microsoft account with my normal Gmail ID. So let me use that. So okay. And uh, yeah, let me just give the password here. So now that would uh, take me to the forms. Now you can see here there are a couple of templates, customer feedback survey, course evaluation survey, event feedback survey, employee satisfaction survey. So surveys and polls, you know, you could do that. So you can explore this. So new form, so click on this. If you, if you want to go with uh, polls and surveys, go with this one. Right now, since we are uh, talking from the perspective of uh, teaching, let's uh, see how do we use Microsoft Forms from a quiz point of view, as assessment point of view. So let's click on uh, new quiz. So this would come up. So first thing you need to do is you have to just give a title. So this is untitled, as you can see. When I name it, this, you know, whatever name I give here, type here, uh, this would be saved under that name. So let's give some name. Let's say Microsoft Forms demo. You can see it is saved under that name. Give a description. So whatever to understand the functionalities. Okay, that's fine. So if you want to put, you can put some figure. Okay, there you can put an image. You can search it online. You can put it from your OneDrive or you can upload it from your uh, uh, you know uh, system. So right now, uh, let me not uh, do anything. So let's see what questions we can have. We can have multiple choice questions. We can have text questions. We can have ratings. We can have date. I mean, you can like what's your date of birth or something like that. Date uh, and other types. So let's see, you know, one by one. So yeah, let me just give one question. Microsoft Forms is, is a free tool. So let's say, Yes, let's say no, okay. So now once you give the question, you can uh, give the correct answer. You can click on, if you want to add more options, you can just click on add option. Uh, if you want to delete any option, just click on this delete. So now you have to give the correct answer. So now let me just, uh, so here you can see tick mark, so click on this correct answer and give the points. Let us say I want to give it one point. Okay. If there are multiple uh, out of like, let us say you have three to four uh, options and more than one is correct, you can just put multiple answers and click on those answers. Right now, only one answer is correct. So I'll just uh, leave this. And if you want to make this question mandatory, you can just click on the required, which means without answering this, I mean, uh, he cannot submit the form. So it's okay for me right now. Let me go to the next question. So maybe a text one. And then let me say, <clears throat> Let me ask, okay, Zoom gives dash minutes free for a basic user, okay? So now you have to type in your answer. So give the correct answer. So the answer is 40. And you can, students may also write uh, 40. So you can add that. If you want, you can also add, in case you think they write in caps, you can just put this also, okay? Uh, if you think the answer is, if you have any question which has a long answer, you can just put on this and then give your answer. But right now it's a short answer, so I'll just leave it as it is. And another thing is you can you can make, you can change the order of the questions. For example, click on this, 
now it would it has gone up okay so now this became first question this became second question doesn't matter so it's up to you so once you you have typed in you want to change you want to swap the order of the question orders of the, i mean change the order of the question you can do that okay let me add one more uh so now let me just uh, now let me just show you how to add uh, math here so for that let me just click on these three dots multiple next to multiple answers next to required there are three dots click on that and then i'll say math the third one okay shuffle options drop down i can shuffle the options i can make it a drop down you know select the answer i can do that i'll put math here okay so let me just uh, put a question solve the expression okay now let, let's enter a equation so basic math is available okay so comp, i mean uh, matrices and all will not be there integration and all will not be there basic math would be available so let us just uh, see how to use this so let's say uh, you know x cube so i'll just keep it simple x square okay plus 2x plus mm, 1 okay i am intentionally keeping it simple okay let's say okay so now no, you can see he has given you answers. Okay, so but right now, uh, says like x is equal to one. If the options also have any math, you can use this. Okay, so x is equal to one. So that is x plus one whole square, right? Yeah. So x is equal to minus one. X is equal to minus one. Let me just give you one more option. X is equal to two. Right. So give the correct answer. So that that would be the x is equal to minus one and one point. So math. So the intention of showing this is I can put mathematical expressions. Okay. So what all I could put? You can see, you know, logarithmic, you know, polynomial, uh, summations, um, all this. Whatever you can see, you can incorporate all these expressions involving these fractions and all of that. Square roots, cube roots, fourth roots, all of that. Okay. So this is how you can incorporate math in microsoft forms now another uh, interesting thing you know for the microsoft forms is uh, there is something called as branching so let me just show you that so there is add branching uh, like for for now from the point of view of education i mean this point of view is not required but i'll just tell you what it means so um, let me just add one question i mean so that makes more sense so let me go to this so add question uh, yeah add question so let me delete this let me just add a multiple choice question yeah mm, yeah let's say do you wish to wish to learn more about forms okay more functionality functionalities of forms okay let us say this is the question uh so this is not an equation right so i'll just uh, i'll not choose the math i'll not choose the subtitle okay because you have chosen it earlier it's there so nothing to worry so let's say yes let's say no now let me just uh, take this up just for a minute so where is our question so now this is the third question let us say so now if do you wish to learn more functionality? So let me just, uh, yeah. So let me just say math functionalities of forms. Okay. I'll tell you why am I doing this. Okay. Now there is something called as branching. Okay. So click on this add branching. So now if the question is, you know, do you wish to learn math functionalities of forms? No, if the, uh, if he says, if the response is yes, and then what, what should happen? You should take to the next one. I mean, solve the expression. Okay. If he's not interested, so do you wish to learn the math functionality? And then let us say the answer is no, uh, then uh, that's it enough. I mean, end of the form. I mean, he should not, the form should not take him to the next question. You know, this is called as branching. Okay. So this is majorly used for surveys, you know, that uh, are you interested in these product, products? If the answer is yes, then it will take, take him to the next set of questions. If it says no, then it will take him to the, some, some other set of questions. So this is the beauty of branching. We will not use this much in, uh, you know, from a quiz point of view, education point of view, but this is uh, extensively used in, in um, surveys and all of that. But to make it complete, I just told you how to use branching. Okay. So let, let me just keep it as it is. So if you want to, let us see if you want to re, uh, remove the branching at any other point of time, you can just click on reset. So all the branching will be removed. Right now, let me just keep it. 
so yeah so now here you can see there's a branch sign that's coming so which means there is a branching in this uh, form so i guess uh, yeah this is okay uh, one two three four let's add one more so maybe one more rating i'll put so how is this tool i mean so let me just once again no subtitle i don't want so now you can rate this tool okay on a five so you can if you want you can increase this you can make it 10 or something so five you can put symbols numbers like this or stars it's up to you okay um, one point again so if you do not want uh, the points to this just leave this okay so that's fine uh, so now so five points are there so now let me preview this so i have five questions in place so five questions in place let me just preview this so now you can see zoom gives this the first question second question and uh, the third question so yeah now let me just uh, go back one two three so now because it is showing me only three because this would come later right i mean it depends on the branching so that's why it is showing me the third three questions only in the preview nothing to worry let's go to theme uh, if you want to add a theme you know a good theme beautiful theme in the background you know you can add this so once again you can so preview again so preview you can see computer preview looks looks like this so here once again it is showing only three questions because we had a branching here if you do not add branching it will show you all the questions nothing to worry so mobile preview so if you are doing this from a mobile you know it, it looks something like this right so this is about preview so let me just go back and uh, yeah preview is done theme is done now click on these three and go to settings now accept responses now i want it so first thing is show results automatically that's fine accept responses perfect uh, another beauty of microsoft forms is you can give a start date and you can give an end date so right now it's 4 34 so let us say i want to start it at uh, 4 30 means it's already started right i'll take the test also and you want to give this test only for let us say 15 minutes so let's say 4 45 so now you can give the start date you can give the end date this is a beautiful thing it's not there in google forms okay you have to use an external add-on okay to get this uh, in a due date in google forms and math also inbuilt it's not there in uh, google forms microsoft forms as you can see the math is there though it is limited but it, it's good okay so you can customize the thank you message you can say uh, thanks for taking the test or whatever so it's up to you so thanks for taking the test have a great day you can customize your own message okay so right and then now click on send and now you can see here you can uh, just see this so you can uh, click on this uh, copy so anyone with the link can respond right because you will share this link with your own students you can either email them or you can just copy the link i'll just copy the link and i would share this link uh, to my students okay so now i'll just take the test right now to show you how does the re results look like so now let me so let me answer this so first answer is correct microsoft is a free tool it is uh, yes but i'll just intentionally i'll say no do we still learn math functionalities of forms i would say yes then it will take me to the uh, next questions for example if i would have answered no i can only submit so this is the beauty of branching so let me just click on s and let me uh, minus one give it correct and how is this tool let me just give it five stars just submit so that's it so i can see the results the person who has taken the test he can see the results as you have seen we had four questions the last one was you know it, it does not carry any points so this is wrong and one two so the marks i've got is two out of four so yeah now let me just close this uh, the only drawback is so go back to thank you page so now thanks for taking the test have a great day now the only drawback of microsoft forms you know even though it has a good uh, you know deadline and all of that due date is there time i mean time limit is there uh, you can also put math you can do branching a lot of stuff the only drawback is you cannot stop the student from giving one more response so the student can respond so the first thing that you have to do it in your forms you cannot avoid it i mean this functionality if if you, if you have a you know microsoft for your organization you can limit the response to only one within the organization so for example here 
here this would come so limit the respond right now it won't come because we are not using microsoft for the organization i'm using a free microsoft uh, forms so i cannot limit the response to only one please keep this in mind so starting somewhere here you know when you give the first question take his email id or something and then say only your first response would be considered so make a statement like that in the description or in a subtitle so this is very very important so i guess microsoft engineers developers are working on this i uh, very hopefully very soon they should fix this up I and mean, they should extend this uh, limiting the response to one you know to all the free users also let's hope that happens at the earliest so else this is a very beautiful tool as you have seen uh, so let me just uh, click on responses so now you can see uh, so these are the responses i can look at all of this you can also open this in excel you can download this so let me just show you you know let's open this in excel let me click on this uh, just to understand you know how does it look like so now you can see so let this uh, excel get open mm. okay it's not opening uh, okay no problem so basically it will show me all of that anyway i can do one more thing also uh, so i can also print summary so the responses i can just print it if i wish so you can see this you can save it as a pdf and all of that you can save it to your drive uh, right now i'm not uh, worried about it one more beautiful thing that i want to show you is you can just see create a summary link so click on that it will create a summary link so i'll just show you what it means so now give the summary link to your boss in the sense i mean so you are principal or you know anyone so your your uh, head wants to know how your students have performed so now you can just give the summary link this to your head for someone now he can just see it, how your classes performed and this is something beautiful uh, which is not there in google forms also okay so print summary you know is uh, so the link you know can be generated in microsoft forms and uh, as i've shown you can download and create an excel file so for some reason i'm not able to show it right now so it's okay nothing to worry or else just give me a minute i'll i'll uh, excel right let me just open that i want to make it complete uh let's downloads microsoft forms demo right okay yeah so till the excel gets opened uh, so yeah you can see the responses and uh, you can see uh, what's the response you can also review the answers you know how many are correct how many are wrong and all of that so if there are more more students so this would be very handy so now let me just uh, uh, open this so uh, open uh, open folders downloads mm. yeah this one which you have this one. so the excel file contains all the you know uh, responses of your students for example so this one is anonymous because i have not asked for a mail id right as i told you you should ask for a mail id and name also so these should be your first and second questions such okay? a name and mail id okay? if i had to take a test using microsoft forms i would do that and i would also say that the first response only would be considered i would do it right now okay so start time of the test of the candidate end time of the test of the candidate and uh, you can see which question he has answered and what answer he has given and uh, all the marks that he has got now you can see total points at this and how much he has got so you can get all the details in the excel form and as i have shown you you can simply you can simply also create a summary link and uh, look at all the responses later you yourself can look at the responses so this is all about microsoft forms and all your forms would be in your home page so so go back to forms now see this is the form that i have created uh, just now so like that all your forms would be in your home page so this is all about your uh, microsoft forms uh, and yeah all the forms would be saved basically in your one drive like as i said you know this is uh, my you know the forms thing that i have uh, created the uh, email id which i have used to create forms so next time onwards whenever you create all the forms it would be available here okay with me in this thing and they would be basically stored in the one drive okay so let's not worry about it so this is all about microsoft forms so the beautiful things that you could do is you know math math expressions you can uh, incorporate directly number two you can also put uh, 
the timing for the test. I mean, due date and all of that you can put. So these are not there in Google Forms. And you can also generate the summary link directly from where you can just see, you know, how your students are performed, right? So as I said, it's a free tool, absolutely free. Branching is one more thing uh, that we have already discussed. So the, all these features are really good. And uh, this would uh, keep the Microsoft Forms. Uh, we can use them, uh, Microsoft Forms, and uh, explore all this. Uh, so only drawback is, again, only drawback is we cannot limit the student uh, right now we cannot limit them to one response and i also have told you right now how to overcome that so but i'm very sure in the next couple of days microsoft uh, developers would uh, you know extend this to normal free users also right so yeah that's it so i hope uh, this is helpful to all of you so take care mm. stay home stay safe uh, yeah bye